Hello guys, welcome back to Breathtaking Canada. So I'm heading to engineering building now to make another collab with Jinesh. So weather is absolutely great today. As you can see, I'm on my cycle. It's awesome. So we'll see you over there. So today guys we have planned to do a shoot for you the detailed tour of engineering building how the building look like and where the most of the classes happens and everything so we'll show you everything in a bit so stay tuned for that you can see the there are like a lot of parts for you to use your cycle to reach university you can see university is right over there I'm, I just reached university like in five minutes so that's how close the university is from all the residential area so you can see that's the university buildings over there we are outside the engineering building right now and here are a few bikes this bike is a friend of mine who's shooting the video Sayat and this here is an electronic bike so uh, this bike is extremely helpful in uh, the when you're climbing hills and stuff I wanted to get one for myself also but uh, just in because winter is coming, you cannot use it in the winter. So let me take you guys inside. This is kind of a nice piece where the heater and stuff go on in the winter, and you know, this is really heated up in the winter. So when you come out from the cold, you come in the warm, you feel really nice. And then once we enter inside here, we are going to see this is the main kind of front lobby. It's got more of the chairs and stuff, but that is taken away right now because of the whole quarantine. They don't want people to come and sit down. So they've taken out all the um, cushions and all of the sofas they had over here. My friend Sayad is going to tell you more about the Paradigm Hyperloop. Hey friends, this is your friend Shaz. So I'm doing mechanical engineering here at Modi University of Newfoundland. So this building is like my house where I usually study, attend classes. So every year we uh, took part in the competition where we build a Hyperloop. We try to make as make a Hyperloop as fast as possible. Then we compete with different teams in California. So then we see like which one is the fastest one. So in the last two years, we uh, didn't win the competition, but we stood second and third, like in the last two years. So we are doing really good with that. I'm involved with this team. I am working as a mechanical designer, where I design components of this hyperloop. Let me show you what, how it looks from the inside a little bit. So let's take you guys to this end. This is how the entire hyperloop is built. And let me show you a little bit inside. It's pretty cool. So you see, <laughs> Yeah, like about 100 people are involved in the Hyperloop. So uh, we have like computer designers, uh, we have like computer engineers, software engineers, mechanical engineers are working on it, electrical engineers are working on it. Here we, we are outside uh, the cafeteria area for the engineering building. They have a subway also in here. And this is where the students uh, usually stay and just, you know, pass the time yeah, in between this classes. Like, this is like really helpful. People sit here and do their study and if they're hungry or something, they can just hop into the sub and get, just get some sub or that's a cafeteria where you can grab your coffee, poutine and lots of things are there. So you have all the food code over here with you. This is one of the big lecture halls we have out here. It's locked right now and you see over here what's written. It says, uh, thank you for not eating or drinking in the <laughs> lecture theater. But we always do that, so you see inside is also pretty cool. So this is how it looks from the inside. It's pretty good and you know the lighting and system is also very nicely made. So this is one of the classrooms that we have here. And let me take you a little bit more inside. This is where all the good stuff takes place. The professor uh, connects their computer to this computer and this computer eventually gets connected to the projector out there. And uh, and you see all these sofas out here right now, they are out here, they are usually in the lobby but because uh, the university does not want students uh, to stay uh, and use these things, that's why they've locked it up in here. Why is this making a sound bro? That's me. <laughs> this is the department of computer science. As you see written out the Department of Computer Science and uh, this is where most of my classes usually take place. And as we walk uh, further down, I'm going to show you more of the classrooms as well. That is if they are open. So this is a big classroom but this one is 
locked, so I cannot show you that. This right here is where the computer science help center is for first year students. I have worked here as well for, I think, one or two semesters, if you remember. And this is where the computer science lab is. This is also closed right now, but uh, students usually come out here and just sit down, you know, in their free time, and then uh, they can work on stuff, uh, assignments, projects as well. This is the student help center. And in your third year, second, third year, if you do good, and then if you know you get uh, selected for a music position and you can become a student guide. The, these are the toilets of here that Syed loves to be in. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for the second floor mainly and let me show you the actual map of the entire building. Uh, this is how the map looks like and you see these numbers are the classrooms where 2 stands for level 2 and 106 stands for the room number. Now this includes where your toilets and washrooms are, where the staircases, where the emergency exits are, everything. This map is present. Maps like these are present in every floor in the building and in every building in the university. So the offices on this side are the offices of the faculty members and staff members. Like that is Jennifer Friss said and then here we have Shereen Bunge who is I think the head of the computer science department right now. This is the bio-inspired robotics lab for computer science students. Here we have Andrew Wardy, uh, who is also a member of the faculty here. And the different uh, faculty members, the offices are on this floor. This is my favorite part of the entire building, the Wall of Excellence, uh, where all the names of the people who have achieved academic excellence in the university, uh, they've got their names printed on this wall and it's going to stay here forever. Uh, I don't know any student here, so that's, that's not nice, but uh, these are students from the past in the university and uh, they've done exceptional things like for people on this board here, they've got national awards, people on this board here, uh, they've got the Dean's Award. So this is for people who've achieved academic excellence and this board here is for excellence in graduate studies, so mostly for the graduate students. So this is the engineering building lab that we have and this is where I spend most of my time working on assignments, projects, anything that basically involves school work, this is where I do it. So we use these computers mostly in our mechanical uh, branch, uh, one screen just to see the tutorials and the next screen to work on the projects like on SolidWorks so that we can see and then we can work on it. So that's really helpful. And they've got these papers that say the computer is not available for physical access just because of COVID. But once that stops, then every computer will be available. Right now, we have this one available, then we have that one there available. And I'll tell you one thing, like all the, all of these computers are connected with your ID. So you can open your files everywhere around the campus. So if you have done something here, you can open it up in the health science department. So that's a really cool thing about these computers. I've also uh, used my ID in my own house. So that's a cool thing that we have. We can, whatever we store in these computers, we can access it in our own homes, uh, wherever we stay as well. That's really important part of engineering building because that's success center. If you have any problem uh, dealing with the course or anything, there are instructors over there which will help you throughout uh, your course or throughout your assignments. So there are different kinds of computer in there and there is like at least five or six teaching assistant always there to help you. So in the first year, you really need to come to this uh, department. So this is the walkway that if you come through the university center, this is where you're going to come from. And those are the elevators to go up to another floor, third, fourth or first. And these uh, are usually stations where you can fill, pick up your Pepsi or your cold drinks from. And all of these here, as you see, they're empty right now because the university has removed them all just as a precautionary measure for COVID-19. But I don't know why this is there. It makes no sense, eh? Which one? This one also should be removed then. This is pretty cool though. You put in a loonie, you put in a dollar, and then you can spin it and take out some chocolates. Yeah, and these are like really delicious. Yeah. Come on guys, let's go upstairs. Alright, so we're going upstairs right now and the fourth floor. Uh, this is the elevators. We're going to go to the fourth floor. And we're going to show you more of the cool stuff that we have in the engineering building. The view from the top, it's really, it's really amazing. So we've reached up here and let me show you a little bit up around wow. the place. <laughs> Look at the view out here, oh my god. Do you guys want to see it? Really? Really? Uh, do, you, do you want to show them? I think we should take some money from that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, let's, let me show you guys. So this is how it looks from the top. You see, they've got the entire city of St. John's. 
And wow. that out there is, where are my finger? That out there is uh, the kitchen, the university residences and stuff, and uh, the dining hall as well. So you can, if you have a membership in the dining hall, you can go and eat out there. Uh, the business building is behind this. And it's just pretty good. That is Prince Philip Drive. So that's kind of a highway and road. Signal Hill from here too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the signal yeah. right out there. So you see on top. I don't think it's going to zoom that close. Oh, it's yeah, pretty good, eh? The zoom yeah. is. <laughs> so that right there is the signal hill. And where the that is the center for attraction for most tourists. Because the view for the Atlantic Ocean is just beautiful from up there. So these are pictures of previous students who have completed a degree in engineering. And so you see Faculty of Engineering and Applied Sciences. This is a batch of 2010. So everyone who has completed an engineering degree, they've got their picture here. This, 2011. this is 2011 batch. 2012. 2012 and... 2013 and this is going backwards. So this is going backwards. 2009, 2008, 2007, 2006. 2006. Okay guys, as you're seeing, I'm, I'm wearing masks because it's now mandatory to wear masks from 24th of... Uh, August, so that's why I'm wearing masks just to show you. Do wear masks because that's mandatory now. And that was it for today, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Part two is coming soon in two days, so do wait for that and subscribe to the channel with pressing the bell icon so that uh, you can be notified as soon as my video uh, got uploaded. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.